This is an example of the difference between inventions and innovations as told by the story of the pen. About 4,000 years ago, Egyptians realized that hollow reeds or grasses that grew in the swamps could be used to hold colored dye that they could write with. For 3,500 years they used reeds and then they finally discovered a better tool and that was the, f the feather of a large bird. Over time they figured out that goose or swan feathers were the best. They would innovate this process over time, figuring, how, figuring out how to select just the right feather or how to shape the tips or how to slice the feather to hold more ink. Those are examples of innovations, improvements. In the 1800s, so this is many years later, someone came up with an even better idea and that was to design what is called the nib or dip pen. So what they did, instead of using the tip of a feather, they manufactured steel tips that could attach to a fountain pen that they could then dip into ink. Now the nice thing about the nibs was that it could write in many different styles. You can see there are different types of drawings so you could have uh, thick lines and thinner lines things like that and that lasted for a while. There were some innovations made such as this little device that I saw for sale on eBay and this is a, a, a nib pen from the 1800s that was completely um, able to be taken apart and stored as one unit with the ink and everything. In the late 1800s, someone named Waterman came up with an even better invention. The problem with nib pens and other fountain pens was that the, you had to dip your pen into the ink every few seconds and it was uh, very hard to control the flow of the ink. So you might have drips on your paper or you might have a thick flow of ink or a thin flow of ink. Waterman came up with a way to control the flow of the ink across the metal nib using uh, innovative slits in the nib. In the 1940s, uh, the invention of the pens came out which you and I use today, which are mostly ballpoint pens. These have been around since the 1890s, but they never really caught on well because people they, people were trying to use the old ink to write with this with this type of pen. So what a ballpoint pen really does is if you look at the tip of a ballpoint pen, you have a little ball bearing in a tube and that ball spins around and the ink gets applied to the back side of the ball and as you write the, the little ball turns and drops the ink on the paper or applies the ink on the paper when it becomes in contact with the paper. And what really the breakthrough in the 1940s were, was two things. Um, someone uh, started using a different type of ink, a much thinner ink that kept the ball better coated. A type of ink that was used for newspapers ended up being used for pens. And at the same time pilots and people in the army off fighting World War II were given ballpoint pens and they just held up much better than the nib pens. You can see the cost of this pen in the 1940s fifteen dollars for one pen. Now today we can buy a pack of ten pens for less than a dollar. You can still also go to a, a fine uh, stationery store and buy much more expensive pens. So over time more and more innovations have been made to something as simple as the pen. So think of our ballpoint pen right now. What are some of the other things that have been invented? Well, uh, gel pens with lots of different colors, pens that have glitter in the ink, invisible ink that applies to the paper and then you need to either shine a specific light on it or put a, a specific fluid on it. 
multicolor pens that have multiple ball points where you press the different buttons down and you get a red or a green or a blue or a black tip. These are all innovations. They're improvements or changes upon just the typical ballpoint pen. Now, if you were to go and search on the internet for innovative pens, there's quite a few that have come out over the past couple years. We have a pen right here that helps you determine if there is a Wi-Fi signal available for you to use. Over here, we have a pen that uses invisible ink and at the same time has a little light that comes up with UV that it is only when this UV light shines on the ink that you can read what it says. Down here on the bottom left, we have a USB pen. So it's a pen, and if you take the uh, back off of it, it's a USB that you can store files from your computer. You have the Logitech I.O. pen, which actually um, allows you to write on your computer and your paper at the same time. And then you have the Live Scribe pen, which is really interesting. And what this does is it records the audio of something you're listening to as you're writing. So what it allows you to do as a college student or someone listening to a lecture is it allows you to record and it will be recording as you're writing and it will be perfectly in sync um, lined up so that if you want to review your notes you can go back to your notes click on that note and it will actually cue the audio to what you were hearing at the time that you wrote it down makes you kind of wonder what the next type of pen will be.